Nigel shot one a convincing game with the black pieces against Zanan Yevgeny from Israel. Join us as we talk chess and politics. Nigel, an important win with the black pieces at the halfway mark. How did the game go today? Um, well, uh, strange opening. Probably I was uh, a bit worse, but then I proceeded to out outplay him. So I, I'm following the tried and tested uh, method of, of drawing with white and winning with black in this tournament. Right, and are you happy with the quality of your play so far? Uh, it's uh, Yeah, it's okay. Look, I, I mean, I was completely lost in the first game and I was completely lost in the second game but doesn't doesn't matter the, the fact of the matter is I've got uh, I've won three games and I haven't lost uh, yet so uh, you always have some up and downs. Nigel it's always a pleasure to see you over the board but there's this new big responsibility that you have which is as the vice president of FIDE. Tell us a bit about your role and responsibility with FIDE. Well, uh, I hope to become a little more uh, actively involved. In fact, the, the new administration is doing an awful lot of things very, very fast. And this is good because um, uh, there was a lot that needed to be done. Uh, I do have some pet projects uh, in, uh, in mind, uh, which uh, I'll be introducing during the, uh, the course of the year, but certain very, very positive things have already come out. So we've got rid of Aegon from the World Championship. That was a massive thing. Uh, proxies have gone. Uh, they were one way to rig elections. And uh, as we know, we've had a huge amount of um, election uh, rigging in the past. So uh, many, many uh, things. We've increased the budget substantially, reduced the number of commissions by a third, and so on. So there are a whole lot of things. You know, we, we are following our statutes. We are not playing in events. Uh, we're not playing events in countries where uh, not everybody is invited. So, uh, uh, you know, we have good statutes, we just need to follow them. And I think this is a big uh, distinction between us and the, the guys who were in power before. Developing countries can expect a lot more support from FIDE? Yeah, uh, and it will be uh, conditional, conditional upon them doing things as well. Uh, so, um, you know, it's not going to be a blank check. That is <laughs> absolutely clear. Right, there was also a big announcement about FIDE and Aegon's contract being amended, and uh, your thoughts on that? Well, uh, yeah, look, it's a massive step forward. Um, personally, um, you know, I, well, I've been arguing against Aegon for, for years and years <laughs> in writing, um, but uh, it was not... Um, um, uh, very practical. When you have a contract, it's not always easy to extricate yourself. And I think this was a, a very positive negotiated settlement, uh, which is um, it's good for good for chess, good for FIDE, and we are reclaiming the world championship. Right now, Nigel, at the elections, um, we saw you give up your nomination to endorse Dvorkovich during the presidential campaign, during the election. What happened? What happened? Uh, well, I didn't have enough votes to win, so uh, I decided to back uh, by far the best of the other two candidates, and it was really a no-brainer. Uh, I mean, you'd had uh, decades of the, the same... Uh, rotten administration and with the the bad old ways of doing things and uh, yeah, and you had somebody uh, uh, very dynamic someone who'd organized the FIFA World Cup so uh, a sporting event on the very highest level and of course you don't become uh, deputy prime minister of Russia um, you know by chance Right, now things are definitely looking up like you mentioned and the chess world is looking forward to all the positive changes. Coming back to you and um, your career, now you're doing a lot of stuff. You've got the responsibility of FIDE, you're doing a lot of promotional activities across the world. How are you finding ch time to still play so actively and maintain your rating? Uh, well, my rating is, uh, has taken a bit of a dive uh, in, the, in the last year. So... Um, 
I, I, you know, I feel very happy coming here. I mean, I have absolutely no expectations anymore. And I, I must say, you're, you're right. I feel a huge amount of pressure on my time. Uh, on any day, there are loads of things to be done. So I'm not sure I found the best way of dealing uh, with all these all these pressures. But there are. Um, there are things to be done and, and many things I would like to do as well, and there don't seem to be enough hours in the day. I have to also ask you, with your new political role, um, you're somebody who's known to be outspoken, someone who speaks his mind. Will we be seeing a more politically correct Nigel? Um, I think uh, that's probably correct. Uh, in, in, in fact, you're probably right there because... Um, you know, there are some things which you simply uh, cannot say, but I, I, I would not be the same uh, person <laughs> if, I, if I shut up completely on things. So uh, I tend to say what I think, uh, but some things you have to be slightly more uh, delicate about. Now, finally, my question is, what brings you more joy, the action over the board or the boardroom action? Uh, I think I'm a, I'm a player. You know, I, I was, uh, you know, born a chess player. <laughs> I was a, a chess player in the womb almost. So I, I think uh, that um, is is a joy. Actually, I'm, I'm enjoying playing here. As is, uh, no expectations uh, anymore. You know, I'm getting older. My energy is not as high as it was, and that's a problem with these very, very long games, actually. The, the t we, we don't have a standard uh, FIDE time control here, so the concentration tends to waver a little bit. But um, yeah, I like to move my fingers. And tonight is the big night of the Battle of the Sexes. Yeah, it is. So uh, all the sexy people will be there battling away, and uh, I look forward to that. And you'll be the captain. As always. <laughs> Any insights into the strategy for tonight's match? Um, just um, uh, our basic plan is to move fast and badly. <laughs> <laughs> we look forward to it. All the best for tonight. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Nigel.